students, please do self-exercise 4.4. Let's do it together. Determine the number of ways to arrange all the letters differently for each of the following words. A corona. So let's count. How many letters? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Count carefully, okay? So you have six letters. So, how about identical letters? How many of them? We can see there are two O, right? So number of O is equal to two. So since there is two identical objects, so number of ways will be six factorial divided by two factorial. The answer is 360. All right, let's proceed to question B. Step one, we count number of the object. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. We have seven objects or seven letters. Out of these seven, we observe the identical object. It seems like we are having three A. So number of identical object A is Three, so the number of way to arrange with seven factorial divided by three factorial. So the answer is eight hundred and forty, right? Hepatitis n is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have nine object. Out of nine, we check. Identical objects, we have two T and two I, right? So number of identical object T is two. Number of identical object I is equal to two. So the number of way to arrange will be nine factorial divided by two factorial divided by two factorial. So the answer is nine zero seven two zero. Now let's count how many objects and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We have fourteen objects. That means the n is fourteen. So let's count how many s. We have five s. Number of s which are identical are five. And then i. We have three i which are exactly identical. So, how about O? We have two O which are identical, right? So, number of ways to arrange these words, 14 factorial, divided by 5 factorial, divided by 3 factorial, divided by 2 factorial. So, the answer is 605404 and 80. Wow, such a big number, right? Now let's proceed to the next question. There are five blue pens and three red pens in a container. Find the number of ways to arrange all the pens in one line. How to do this question? Let's do it together. You have total number of sample is five blue pens and three red pens. That means you need to plus five plus three. That means the n is equal to 5 plus 3, which is equal to 8, right? So we have 8 objects. Out of 8 objects, we want to find the number of ways to arrange all the pens in one line. All the pens here means arrange all the 8 pens. So the answer is 8 factorial, but they are identical pen, 5 blue and 3 pen which are identical so we need to divide by 5 factorial over 3 factorial so the answer is 56 ways because the blue pen um, are identical and the red pen are identical right so when there is identical object we need to divide let's see number 3 there are four white flags and six yellow flags inside a box. Find the number of ways to attach the flags in a line on a vertical. So the n is 10, 4 plus 6. 
So because they are identical flags in terms of color, uh, four white color and six yellow flags, so we need to divide by the number of identical objects. So the answer is 10 factorial divided by 4 factorial divided by 6 factorial. So the answer is 210. Alright, so it's quite simple but be careful there is always an uh, identical object that you need to be divided. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Find the number of odd numbers that can be formed from all the numbers 3, 4, 6 and 8 with all the numbers other than 3 appearing exactly twice. 3 appearing exactly twice. So that is showing that identical object all right, for the 3. So a number of odd number that can be formed. So let's... Uh, do it together for question number four. So basically, when you read the question, you must highlight the keywords. Example, number of odd numbers. So it is given that three only appears one time, right? Three appearing one time. So we have three, four, six, eight. Okay, so let's... Uh, Okay, let's study the 4, 6, 8 appear two times. All the numbers other than 3 appearing exactly twice. That means the 3 appear one time, the rest appear two times. That is what it means by the question. Do you understand? So to form an odd number, uh, to form an odd number, so we need to make sure we end with the digit which are odd. So the last digit must be odd digit, right? So we have only one odd digit, which is which is three, is the only odd digit. So the last digit must be three, in order to get the odd number. Since uh, four, six, eight appear two times, so that means we have uh, two four, we have two six and two eight. So we have six, right? We have six the remaining one. So the answer should be uh, 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial and divided by 2 factorial and divided by 2 factorial due to 4, 6, 8 repeat or appear 2 times, right? So the answer for this question is uh, 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial because of the 6 and 4 and 8 appear 2 times. So appear two times, that means we have two four, we have two six and we have two eight. So we need to divide by two factorial, uh, divide by two factorial, divide by two factorial. So the answer will be equivalent to nine zero, right? If you press your calculator, you'll get the answer, which is 90. Answer equivalent to nine zero, right? So that is how you solve this question.